so this is the the device that used uh, for the murdering the patient continuously here you see this is the blood pressure pressure sensor so it can measure the blood pressure of the patient and it is connected with microcontroller so that we can stream the blood pressure data to the cloud if you see here so the brain of the device is linked is smart do so it works the main controller of this device i have also use a arduino shield so for connecting other sensors so this is the this is the power backboard power module and there's are the cables there's a lot of cable and let's go to check the sensor okay here yes i use uh, this sensor uh, to measure the body moisture that means the body humidity since i don't have other sensor so for the demonstration purpose so the soil moisture sensor is used as a humidity sensor of the patient's body and this is the led for and budget so led is indicate the in case of emergency it is going to be on and the buds are going to be on with some alarm this is the button so also patient can have it to if the patient does not feel good he or she can have it to call the doctor or nurse by pressing this button and yes this is the this is the ecg sensor so one thing is missing give me a second i just placed place the okay let's place it later so this this is the sensor that is called the called the pulse oximeter it can measure the pulse of the so if you place a finger on on it it can measure the pulse rate as well as the spo2 that means the oxygen level of of, of your blood and this is the vibration sensor that can be used for so in case of fuse movement it gives you, gives you a gives you some like notification that the patient is moving unfortunately or patient movement is not is critical that's all about the device so nothing else yes one thing that is this is the infrared temperature sensor that can measure the patient's body temperature so without connecting so it can measure so it's, since it is infrared so this is really good so just to place and point the patient's body it can automatically measure the temperature of the patient and one thing is left that is missing i am coming back to show you the this, this sensor this is the sensor well, sensor is connected with some cables that is the thing that I need to connect so place on the patient's body to measure the ECG rate of the heart using this sensor so it gives actually the pulse so the like a wave pulse of heart and there's the whole device that I built for this project. So next time we, I will show you 
the mobile application as well as the desktop application or a base desktop application how data goes and how real time data changes thanks for watching okay guys here is the device my device with uh, with all the setup so here you can see this is the device where is the link it is here so it's connected to the iot cloud everything is there and here is the mobile application if you see the check is a list of charts over there the temperature Mm, is 24 degrees Celsius humidity is 0 the movement and the heart rate is 0 ECG some moving graphs that comes from the device so it's a real time and the pulse oximeter this one is the pulse the SpO2 sensor actually the pulse oximeter and this two is the pressure blood pressure actually blood pressure machine is little bit tricky so it shows the shows the previous value the last value so 110 we go closer to 110 to 85 so actually this value is the this shows the last value so 110 to 82 actually so let's check other values are correct or not okay first let's check the temperature okay this is the temperature sensor this one so in fact temperature okay and this is the this is the temperature is now 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's try to do something. Whether it's happening. So I place my finger over there, but nothing happens. Okay better to put some okay let's check the humidity so this is the humidity sensor that I used soil moisture as a so now what's the any change you can see now it's now it's 44 so I replace my Finger is going to be zero, so it comes to real time data again with my finger. Humidity, so replace, replace zero. So, humidity works fine. So, let's about the movement. Okay, movement is you can see. I'm sorry that I can actually I'm facing some travel for so now the movement gonna be one so if I move it just count the huge movement so now it's zero that means uh, the very, it's very sensitive sensor so let's check about the heart rate okay now it's zero so because i haven't this is empty so if i place my finger over there and check the pulse oximeter 
as well as this. you see the pulse oximeter is now 25-24 percent and this is to show the heart rate BPM if we replace my finger is here and it's gonna be zero and it's gonna be zero what left the ECG okay this is also tricky because here I need to place my board place everything on my body okay so they show that this is is it's nothing so if I pair something something happens it's gonna be yes. and no one is dead It's not moving, actually it's moving, no data is there. So here you see, one pulse is coming. So if we place like this, so you can check the pulse. Okay, better if we restart it, you'll see more better result about the ECG again so now about this is you see ECG data is now moving is here data is now going to data comes from the sensor so it is now zero so it depends on your so you need to place it on the body for getting the nice data. What else? Okay, what separate the emergency? So if 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 emergency happens, suppose that emergency happens, then this you see then there is a message as well as the as well as the emergency light. Also, message is there. This at this moment is I just I just uh, turn off the emergency signal because otherwise it always gives you the emergency because you see the heart rate is zero, so it's really really in emergency condition. So you see this is now moving nicely. Actually, again the pulse oximeter. Come on. Okay. Heart rate. Okay. Temperature. Humidity. Humidity. Okay. So everything works. It's real time. And this is the device. Thanks for watching. It's still. I need to improve something there are some bugs and I cannot share the application because it contains my own user credential as well I cannot share it uh, so I used Intel XDK for building this application and this dashboard is built using HTML and JavaScript thanks for watching this is the the desktop dashboard you can see the device is still not connecting so so I just power on the device so when when it uh, start up see the changes so already two data so there this is the pulse and pulse okay let's check this two so I place my finger on the sensor now you see the pulse and the pulse oximeter so bpm and the oxygen, oxygen level of my pulse 
and body temperature as you see 24 point something this is the ECG so you see the car car is changing you see so stopping my hands on it you can see the data is changing temperature try to change the temperature a little bit you see temperature is changing and what's about this what is the emergency call press the button the patient going to call emergency yes nice one so let me see emergency collective and the humidity let's check the petition so uh, you see and the humidity nine percent so that's the humidity and the movement this is the movement you see there's a change over there So this this way of patient can be used as a hospital authority for monitoring the patient in real time. And there's the device. Uh, one thing is missing. Uh, I forgot to forgot to add this, but it's not a big issue. So that's all about the web application, the real time dashboard. Next time we. I will show you the mobile application. Thanks.